it's important uh, for us to not only invest in digital transformation, but also to transform the physical network, leveraging data as well as technology to enable a more seamless on to offline banking. And this is what we call omnichannel banking. We want to diversify towards those sectors that uh, we feel both that they are they have the right potential if we mention just one for for a start like the agriculture sector where angola has 35 million hectares of uh, arable land and out of those only 15 percent have been in use so some of the big challenges we faced over the last couple of years have highlighted inherent weaknesses in supply chains and our priorities are working together with customers leveraging technology to improve visibility uh, resilience and sustainability of supply chains around the globe. I understand the consequences of my decision. And one of the consequences of my decision was not going to Australia, and I was prepared not to go. Journalists are under attack in ways that we've never experienced before. I bring that part of my Asian culture with me into everything I do. They can kill us and they will also die. I can't understand for what. When big names talk, they talk to the BBC. Welcome to BBC News, I'm Nuala McGovern, our top stories. US basketball star Brittany Griner gets a nine-year sentence on drug charges in Russia. President Biden denounces it as unacceptable. Japan and the US condemn China's military exercises in the waters around Taiwan and call for an immediate halt. This afternoon, China fired Dongfeng ballistic missiles from the coast of China across the Taiwan Strait and they fell into waters in the exclusion zones just here off the North Taiwan coast. Now the primary objective is obviously intimidation. The conspiracy theorist Alex Jones is ordered to pay more than $4 million in damages after falsely claiming the Sandy Hook school shooting was a hoax. Every night in my dreams I see you, I feel you. He is an internet sensation in Bangladesh for singing out of tune, but we'll find out why this crooner failed to strike a chord with the police. Hello and welcome to our viewers on PBS in America and around the globe. We start in the United States with the case of the US basketball player, Brittany Griner, who's been sentenced to nine years in jail by a court in Russia. The court found her guilty of possessing and smuggling drugs. President Biden said Washington would use all means possible to guarantee her release and added that her sentencing is unacceptable. The two-time Olympic gold medalist admitted to possessing cannabis oil when she was detained in February. Here's what she said after both sides presented closing arguments. I made an honest mistake and I hope